David, how did you get interested in journalism? Was there a point where you, you said in your life, I, I have to do this, and why? I, uh, I probably look back to, to high school. My senior year in high school, I hadn't done much journalism, but the, the Vedette, which was the high school paper at McCaskey High School in Lancaster, um, needed an editor my senior year, and I volunteered. Um, and really quickly, we had a, a story come up. There had been students complaining about the high school's new ID policy. Uh, McCaskey High School had some problems with violence and people coming into the school who weren't supposed to be there. And so they started requiring IDs of students. And a lot of students were complaining that if you were you know, a favorite of teachers, if you didn't have your ID, you just kind of got a slap on the wrist. But if you, you know, were a student who a teacher didn't like, you could get suspended for not having your ID. So this was just a delicious story for <laughs> the paper. And we did a big front page story. You know, I can't remember the exact headline. It was ID policy being implemented unfairly in school. It was a biweekly newspaper. And I just walked around and remembered, like, walking past lockers and going to class. Every single student was, was reading every word of that story. And the principal called me in. Uh, and you know, asked me why I thought it was okay, uh, you know, to to challenge the school administration in in a story, and I just heard myself saying because that's what journalists do. We hold, you know, people accountable. You know, when when things are going on that are not fair, we uncover them, and it just those words coming out of my mouth. Suddenly, I was just like, this is really cool. I'm I'm loving this, and that was that was my first taste of of the power of journalism. Um, and then I, I went to I went to college and got on the college paper and you know sort of that that carried on. Still wasn't a hundred percent sure. Thought about law school after college and, and other other things. But if I think back to the moment when I kind of realized that this is this is an extraordinary profession, that was probably it.